Alrighty, on the play here. And take a mulligan. And this hand is not good, but we probably have to keep. And that is good top card. Playing against played against two weird decks so far. Probably both of them are trying to beat zombies and Tamir Marvel, of course. Which is kind of a benefit of being like a lower tier lower tier deck benefits. Um yeah, I'll just play Ballista. And probably just trading immediately based on this hand. Since we have another Ballista for ping effects. So we're just going to absorb that and then hope to win off of tracker value. Okay. Start by cycling because we actually want to draw land. So we don't want to thin first. If we drew another like traverse two, we would want to traverse for a forest and then cast it. And if we drew another dissenter's deliverance, we might want to get a forest rather than leaving fatal push up. So leave up Fatal Push, even though it's probably not going to be able to kill this 3-drop. Alright, just the Lord of the Accursed, not Diagraph Glasses, which is good. Uh, Alright, I'll just Snake. Leave up Fatal Push. If our opponent kills us, we can Fatal Push the Lord of the Accursed and potentially cycle to Center's Deliverance as well. Alright, Crip Breaker. Sure. And a Dark Salvation. Alright, I think I have to kill the Crypt Breaker immediately, as is usually the case. And that doesn't even kill our snake, so pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. On the downside, we haven't found a land yet. Um, I think I actually want to cycle this. Hmm. Alright. I mean, Grimfly is pretty big. I mean, this is probably going to be bad for us this turn, though. Yep. Okay. So we almost have Ballista up to critical mass, but it seems like it's not going to matter. Yeah, our opponent got too far ahead in the early game. Um, yeah, we're just done here too many zombos I 
Alright, so out the deliverances, since they only kill metallic mimics. Um, this is okay on the play. Yahin's is obviously great. Gonti's fine. Obnixilis is fine, since they're potentially removal. Um, Probably getting rid of. Mm, could just cut the Gaunti on the play. Go for more aggressive focused cards. Yeah. And then probably on the draw, I can bring back in the Gauntis. Alright, this hand's fine. Yeah, we just stumbled a little bit too hard that game. Quagmire, probably playing Bolista turn two and then never returning some zombies. Ooh, Tracker is excellent. That's exactly what we wanted to draw. Um, I'm probably trading. Yeah. We have plenty of removal. And this just buys us time for our tracker. So, Relentless Dead, or I guess Metallic Mimic, we're just going to never return. And then set up for tracker. Alright, Relentless Dead is, does nothing. And we can crack this freely at the moment as well. Alright, so in a very good spot here. Since our opponent didn't have Crypt Breaker or Diagraph. And they have very little pressure as well so far. This looks like Dark Salvation. Didn't attack with Relentless Dead, so they could Crypt Break. All right, we need to kill that immediately. And hopefully we find like a Ballista for our Constrictors. All right, Grim Flare is online drop that down we still have a nice life total buffer interesting um so we can't definitely can't get aggressive yet I mean, we could exile Dreadwander, but it appears our opponent is flooded a bit. So I think we're just cracking clues for now. I mean, we have Yahines. Yahines. Uh, so yeah, I can develop another flare. Eventually, if we get any, like a Nissa, our guys are going to be way too big for Yahines.
And of course we don't want to trigger this where the land list dead because it will get back like a crypt breaker or something annoying. So we just sit and accumulate our wealth of clues. Ooh, Gandhi. The tech. This is usually the problem I experience with zombies as well, it's just flooding out. Your only real card draw is like Crypt Breaker or Liliana or I guess Gandhi as well now. So if your opponent can deal with your Crypt Breakers, it's very easy to just flood. Alright, there's Anissa. So now we can go to town. Um, yeah, I'm just going to minus this now, and then Yaheen's next turn, probably, and smash for a lot of damage. Oh, Nixless. Owned by Arsenal Munch. It's my guy. That's my man. Get your hands off my ob. Okay. So this clears up his board. Gaunty battle. Gaunty battle. Um, a Grim Flare gets a lot worse against zombies on the draw. I might want to get rid of them entirely if our opponent is also trying to go kind of bigger. I mean, transgress wouldn't be the worst, honestly, on the draw. Yeah, let's try out one transgress since our opponent showed us Gaunty. This might be a little too ambitious, speed wise, but we do have the Heens. And like the Leanna, the Last Hope, and the Fatal Pushes and Ballistas to help us in the early game. So this should be fine, I would say. But Transgress may be a little bit too much. I suppose we'll find out. Or more likely, just not draw Transgress. Alright, good hand, good hand. Breaker to start. So whether we have to bolster that on turn two is going to depend on if they have a zombie here. Okay, if they don't have a land drop, then we're gonna go for the greed play. Certainly. If they just have nothing. Oh my god, the triple crit breaker. Jeez. So, they're obviously going to draw here, try and find a land. If they drew a land and pushed my snake there, that would have been amazing. Okay, the ultra greed play is mining constrictor this turn. Fortunately, we're not that greedy. Fortunately. Okay, this is, this is really good for us, by the way. 
obviously. I mean, this is the dream hand. You want to draw as many Crypt Breakers as possible, although one Swamp makes it not the dream hand. Alright, so we have our Ballista. If our opponent draws a land, they can make a 2-2, but we don't care because we can put many, many counters on our Ballista. Alright, Fatal Push on the snack all right and at this point this this walking bolsta like basically wins us the game by itself So we'll just wait on shooting. Now we do, obviously, so our opponent can't draw a card. Ooh, okay. That is an upgrade. That's an upgrade. And this will likely prompt a concession. Because we have Snake Ballista and Liliana going against all these fellows. Yes. Andy Heans. I knew Transgress would do it. 